gonna do an unboxing of the Blackview S8 phone. So the Blackview S8 smartphone is a Chinese manufactured phone. It retails on the web anywhere between 200 and about 250, depends on the website you actually buy it from. We bought it from eBay, we only paid $198.69, which that was pretty cheap. All other websites of like GearBest, ChinaVasion, Cooly Cool, they'll retail for about $250 plus shipping costs on top of that and your import duties and GST. Now, those of you who know us, we've been dealing with Blackview for quite a few years. We've sold many of the phones. Some of you may remember some phones we have already sold, which is the Blackview Ultras. They look like the iPhone 6s back in those days. So, also a bit of overview on the company. Blackview, all the phones are designed in Italy, man manufactured in China. Dual SIM with SD card capability as well. So now I'm going to unbox this phone and give you a better look at it. It looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S8 without the curved screen. There's no curves on this screen, just straight flat screen. You've got an aluminium body around, around the body, a border with a plastic backing. You've got your dual 30 megapixel camera, you have your fingerprint reader, and you have your LED flash. Well, it also can be used as your torch. So the phone is pretty sturdy. I'm going to show you a bit of, about this phone. So first of all, I'm going to show you the screen quality. It's a decent screen. It's, it is a HD screen, which is 1280 by 720. So to unlock it, you have a choice of putting a pin number, or you can use a fingerprint reader. So I am going to show you the fingerprint reader, which I have found pretty accurate myself. Single touch, within a second, the fingerprint reader just comes up. So I've actually pre-configured this phone at the moment. Just wanted to make sure that it was working before I started this demo video. Uh, you go through the apps, up and down, many apps, it doesn't lag. Switching in between your apps, it doesn't lag. So I'm going to go into a few apps and I'm going to go to some emails. Get out of that. Open galleries, some photos. It doesn't lag. So that photo was taken of the, of the front dual camera this is in full daylight it looks pretty good it's a budget smartphone so you can't really expect too much but in good light situations it does take some good photos that's the front camera it may look a bit different on your screen now let's take of the back camera in full light situation full daylight in the sun and that looks pretty good again it's a budget smartphone you can't expect too much for your social media posts your everyday posts just to your friends and family when you're going out your selfies it will run pretty decently so i'm going to unlock it so now it's locked again i'm going to show you what it actually comes with in the box so in the box you got an accessory kit so the first accessories it comes with is, first of all, the actual SIM eject tool, like all other phones. Then they give you a gel, gel back in, very soft gel back in, so it protects the phone. And they give you a spare screen protector in the box. The phone already has one screen protector pre-applied, they give you a spare one in the box with it. So it's very easy to slip it in, so you have a gel cover, line up the edges, slip it on it does offer some protection you can buy some other cases online for this phone i would imagine they give you a usb type c cable one and a half meters plenty of length they give you what's called a usb otg this plugs into the bottom of your phone so then you can use it to plug in your USB flash drives and upload any data you have on your flash drive into your phone, just like a computer. So I'm going to show you one example of this. Just plugs into the bottom here. Plug in your flash drive. Unlock your phone. Then you scroll through, get to your file manager. Amongst it says the internal shared storage, 
that will come up as your flash drive there and you can be able to access all your files. So this has 64 gig internal storage with four gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna continue showing you what else comes in the box. Some earphones, wide hands-free kit. Again, pretty basic, made of really cheap plastic, rubber ear grips, but again, for someone to actually give you this accessory with the phone is pretty good. But the actual phone itself, as you can see on the top here, there's no headphone jack. See on the bottom here, there's no headphone jack. So what they have done, Blackview, is they have included a USB Type-C to 3.5mm adapter. You plug this into your charging port and you plug your headphones into there, it adapts it into a 3.5mm phone. This box here, we've got a USB charger. It's really the Australian version. Most of these will come with a European version and you need the actual Australian adapter. This came, this came directly with the box with the Australian charger. And what I've got here as well, if you have a USB micro cable, this will convert the USB micro to the USB Type-C. So you can still use your old USB Type cables to on this phone. So overall, it's a very decent phone. I'm just going to put my pin in. Screen quality is very decent. The audio is a bit, bit basic. It's very hard for me to even show you the audio on this video. But I'll be having another demo of this video this soon. Do another demo of this phone very soon to let you know how I have actually found it. I'm going to be using this as my personal phone for a couple of weeks. Then after this, we'll be doing another unboxing soon of the VK or VK7000 phone. Thanks guys for watching and please leave your comments for me. Thank you.